what's going on guys? Thanks so much for checking out the video. Um, I wanted to announce something kind of new that I'm going to start on the channel, uh, and that's called One Take Walkarounds. So I'm going to be building a playlist of kind of friends and viewer walk around uh, videos of their rigs. So uh, today I have my friend Peyton over here in his Land Rover. And so we're going to go through the entire uh, rig and the build and everything, and he's gonna share with you guys the stuff he's done to it. Real quick, uh, again, what this new series is gonna be called is One Take Walkarounds. So the point of this is for me to um, meet with people and they can kind of share their rig, and I can film it in a way where it's really, really easy for me to edit. So it's gonna be kind of a one take, so one video where you know you can show off your rig basically. So it's gonna you know allow me to make quicker edits and get more video out to you guys. We're gonna go over here and meet Peyton and check out his super sweet rig. All right guys, so this is my buddy Peyton. Um, we're gonna do this full walk around here. Um, again, this is going to be a one take, so if there's cars going down you know, this road, just uh, ignore that. So yeah, man, tell us about this rig. All right, hey everybody. Uh, this is my 2003 Land Rover Discovery. I bought it six years ago from the original owner in Houston, Texas. It had 83,000 miles on it, um, and it had never seen dirt or any gravel or anything before. It was a pavement princess and what was garage queen. Um, so I bought it with a slipped motor line liner, uh, essentially a blown motor, replaced the motor in it, and it's been a great car ever since. Uh, Sweet, man. It looks so good. I love the color. Epson green Epson. is the color. Yeah, I don't know if it's picking up super well in camera. Yeah, you can kind of see. Yeah, it looks great. A little scratched up, but it gets used, so that's all right. That's right, man. Uh, well, yeah, let's start at the front. Start at the front. I have an ARB front bumper, um, a Smitty built winch in there. Uh, I have some awesome Amazon knockoff ARB lights, which that's the way to do it sometimes. You right? know, they're they're bright enough and they were the right price. Obviously I have the hijack um, and my CB antenna. Love it. I love the antenna on the front, dude. It looks good. Uh, factory fogs or? Yep, those are, yeah. these are factory fog lights and then these are aftermarket ARB turn signal lights. Um, the hood blackout is just Plasti Dip. Sweet. Underneath on the Axles there, you can see I have the Terra Firma Rock Armor nice. on there, diff guard, which is nice. They're they're notorious for hitting diffs and hanging low, so yeah. it's a good thing. I have uh, heavy duty Terra Firma tie rod ends and all that pan hard and all the good stuff down there. Um, I'm running a three inch Old Man MU lift with old man MU shocks. You uh, put new coils on recently, right? Yeah, they're they're actually oh, yeah. they're pretty really much new. brand new. I had terra firma shocks on there. They lasted for about three years and were sagging and just gave a horrible ride. Uh, on that, I have 275, 70, 18 BF Goodrich KO2s. They've been a great tire. These tires have 40,000 miles on them. And I would say they probably have a solid, solid amount of tread. They've seen a lot of dirt roads. Yeah. They've kind of gotten a little chunky here and there, but mm -hmm. overall, I've had a great experience. Went through discount tire. Can't say enough about discount tire. Oh yeah, same. Um, yep. Moving down the side, we have uh, Rover, Rover North rock sliders. So these are just, you know, another Cheap brand, they aren't super heavy duty. They aren't gonna protect you from that much, but if you do bump into something, they're gonna help a little bit. They look good. They're really tucked. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Then it's nice to have a step, because from from factory, it was beyond flush over there. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, in the back seat, I have a black lab named Phoebe, and she rides back here in her car hammock. Oh yeah, that's comfy, man. And then normally when I'm fully loaded up, I will have all of my clothes and snacks and stuff loaded up underneath there. So it works out really well. Nice. Let's see, moving towards the back. Oh, real quick, on the yeah. wheels, did you paint these? Those are powder coated. Powder coated. So yeah, they cool. are factory Land Rover wheels. 
They're 18 by 8. They, they've done a really great job at keeping the bead on there. Mm -hmm. I think from the factory, Land Rover did a great job at making all their wheels hold the bead really well. So I can still air down, even you know they're 18s, and get a good tread down on the ground. Um, Sweet. Yeah, powder coated. This is a Greg Davis rear bumper for you Land Rover people. If you're here, you will, he's been around for a long time. I'm luckily reached out to him and I think I got one of the last batches he ever made of those. Um, underneath that, you can see I have the rear diff guard from Terra Firma and a Terra Firma gas tank skid plate there which is a really weak point of the Land Rover. You can see it hangs down, and any time yeah. you come off a bad uh, rear approach angle, it just drags. Yep, it's just like my TJ. Yeah. Um, Sitting there. Reno pack. This is a factory spare tire mount that swings with the door. Uh, mountain bike, so I have the one up rack, which is awesome. Normally, if I'm actually wheeling, I don't have it on the back because it hangs off the back so far, and it is, yeah. you know just kills your departure angle that's um, so sweet i love how this pivots out out of the way oh yeah yeah let's see get some lights yep yep so these are wired in for my reverse lights the factory reverse lights were in the bumper so i had to have some okay those work out um on the roof i have a kitchen light up there nice uh my rooftop tent folds out towards us and creates kind of a little room um which is really nice. Oh, cool. And as you can see, speaking of the rooftop tent, mm -hmm. I have the Yamaka uh, Skyrise, I think is what it's called. It's a three person tent. It's been really great. And then I also have their uh, awning on the side, which has been also really nice. Um, I had some cheaper knockoff awnings and they just, you know, the build quality is not the same, that's for sure. Yeah, pardon the freaking airplane. Oh, wow. Oh, sweet. Wow. You're doing a flyover. Yeah. Um, this is a Voyager, Voyager's roof rack. I actually scored this from a pick and pool uh, junkyard. It was a great deal. So some, something you guys don't know about Peyton, he literally finds the greatest like Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace deals ever. There is very few things that I have bought new uh, to add on to this vehicle of some of the stuff like suspension and whatnot it's you know important to get that new but right. if i can find it used and at a discount price i'm all for it um <laughs> on the side there you can see i have max tracks mounted they uh they're not max tracks they're nice cheap knockoffs because that's how i roll and they <laughs> do the job that's right with man. having the winch and having these i you know I didn't feel the need to get the legit max track. Yeah. So I felt like it was just a little bit too much money. and You could just level your rig even with Oh, them. absolutely. Yeah, when I put my tin up and I yeah. wanted to level my rig, I used those as well. Um, totally. I can open up the back here. Yeah, let's and do check it. Check out. This is always like the best part anyway. I love the rear freaking door. It's awesome. So, oh, yeah, man. Where to start? Yeah. Um, How about the door? I love the rear swing out and it, you know, has the spare tire on it. It's convenient. I'm not having to do, you know, nothing that's wrong with the swing out tire, yeah, but just a latch and all that. It's yeah. nice. It's all one unit. The only thing is that it gets a little heavy and you have to kind of pick up the door to get it in there. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I guess I'll start with this box here. This is a Smitty built box that I purchased used. Um, Obviously, perfect. It does the job for me. It doesn't rattle around too much. Uh, and for the price that I paid, I can't complain. I built a custom little stand to get it up off of the actual floor. And that allowed me to make a nice little spot to hold my folding table. Perfect. Um, inside my folding table, I have my OZ Trail little I guess backpacking chairs, if mm -hmm. you call them, they weigh like five pounds, so they aren't backpacking chairs, but yeah. <laughs> they fold up and they're really nice and they're convenient. I like how low they sit to the ground. Mm -hmm. um, I Moving up, I got my pop-up pit. It's nice to have, definitely when, you know, there's no rocks around to build a fire. Uh, let's see. Over here, obviously I have my Yeti cooler. I do not have a fridge. I 
not sure if I plan on getting a 12 volt fridge. I think for how long I spend out in the woods that the Yeti does fine for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not doing week trips or anything like that. So it doesn't really bother me too much. Here I have my stove. So I use a Blackstone griddle. It's amazing. You can cook anything you want on it. Uh, it's a little heavy. That's the only thing is that it, it's a big thing to lug around. And when, if you're concerned about weight, it's a problem. And here I have my, basically all of my cooking gear and this is how it lays up pretty much. And then I have my water as well. Nice. Um, underneath my water here, I have all my recovery gear here in an army bag, um, surplus army bag. It works out nice. Have some mud boots, have my recovery yep. all over here. And then it being a Land Rover, you do have to have every tool and every part that you could ever <laughs> need to have. Um, so this is pretty a full toolbox, I would say. I have pretty much everything. I could take this car apart and put it back together in a parking lot if I needed to. <laughs> I have all my electrical stuff here in this waterproof Plano box. I use a Via Air. Yep. Um, I can't remember the model off the top of my head, but it is the one for their RVs that you use for their RVs. You just clamp it to the battery? I In the front, I have an Anderson plug, and I have nice. this wired with an Anderson plug so that I can set it on my front bumper, and I have portable air right there. I thought about hard mounting it in the engine bay, but with these aluminum blocks, they run so hot mm. that I think it would just fry it immediately. So... Keep all my tools and parts in here. I love my Carhartt stuff, the duck fabric and the, you know, it just, it lasts forever. Canvas I can't stuff. say enough about the canvas. And so, you know, highly recommend those. Oh, what about the rack? How'd you make this this year? So the rack is actually, I made this myself. I mounted up some supports within these. Uh, these are kind of like a fiberglass material. I don't know what it is but I built some wood supports within there. Mm. And then this is essentially a old y Yakima uh, tray and crossbar. So these are 48 inch crossbars that you would put on your roof nice. of a vehicle that I've strung across here. And it works out really nice. I can stuff, you know, bedding and small things underneath between here, which works out. Um, and it just, it all laid out really perfect. I got pretty decently lucky. So um, good. <laughs> also over here, fluids. Oh yeah. The most crucial thing for a <laughs> Land Rover, coolant and oil. That's awesome. Man, I love how like you have this extra window for you. anyone who doesn't know anything about Land Rovers, they have this like extra little piece that comes up and you get that extra space. So you can really stuff it back there. And then yeah. what's the rack? Maybe we'll see it inside, but. Oh, that is just a, uh, a dog divider uh, to keep my dog from trying to chew on the grill once it smells really good. <laughs> That's awesome. She's all for it. Uh. Uh, then on here, I have my hijack uh, pad. I don't know what you call it. To keep you from sliding. Mm -hmm. My axe. Yep. And then in here, obviously, I have my first aid and a fire extinguisher. Sweet. I love this, man. Old school box. Yep. That's yep. cool. Picked that up at a flea market and restocked it with modern things because it came with all of the old stuff. Sweet. I have a cheap roto pack mount for a real roto pack. <laughs> it works and it's perfect. I did not see the reason. And, and there's a ladder. This, I bought this roto pack used, so I did not feel the pain of purchasing one. <laughs> right. Um. And this is a ladder, right? This is a ladder from Voyager as well that would go with the rack and essentially it would allow you to climb up there. But since I don't need it with my rooftop tent, I've used it to just hold things. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I will mount my uh, rope to the back here or my, my, my pulley. Sweet, man. Just keep it out. You want to move inside? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh wait, what about these? You added this on, right? I don't know if you talked about it earlier. I did not, okay. but so when I got this rack, it did not have what I guess they call the challenge uh, package from Safari, I believe is what it is. So I went to uh, Wilder Solutions here, actually, and I think it's in Rogers, Max Wilder. Oh yeah. It's got a sweet uh, Toyota. If you haven't followed him on Facebook or Instagram or mm -hmm. find him. Guys, he's the guy that made my TJ roof rack. Super, super That's right. cool guy. That's right. He does really good work. I'd highly recommend him anyone. 
Um, but so he did this, which I really think adds to it. I, uh, you know, growing up, I had my dad had Land Rovers. I grew up with Land Rovers and I went off-roading uh, with the big Texas Rovers Club. And all the Discoveries had that rack. And so I have been lusting for one for a long time. Yeah, and again, so I good. got the rack for a good price. So yep. I was able to go to Max and have them fix it up how I wanted. And I'm still not remotely close to having paid retail value. Yep. Love it, man. First off, leather seats, sick. Leather seats, black piping, can't get better than that. They're a little beat up and a little worn. But again, this is a, you know, this vehicle has been used for its purpose. The inside is pretty much stock. I am running a uh, scan gauge here for my temperatures. But you got to really make sure your coolant temps on these Land Rovers are good or you'll blow a head gasket. So that's extremely crucial. I just have a cheap Cobra CB in there. Mm -hmm. um, you want me to go around in the passenger? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, this is better. Sweet. So. Just a cheap Cobra CB for the trail. Um, if I'm actually trying to use it, I'll use my walkies to get with everybody else. Uh, dash cam, all essential. I think everyone needs dash cam. Up underneath here, you can't see it from that side, but I have a nice level gauge. Oh yeah, there it is. CB just mounts up there. Obviously you have to have your overland patches. Yeah, especially this one right here. That's right. That's the best one right there That's pretty snazzy one right there <laughs> um, Something's really cool about these is that they have these map pockets in these Land Rovers So when you used to use maps instead of an iPad You could stuff them all in here, That's which awesome. now it's worked out. I keep a little notebook I have my silky saw in case I need to jump out and cut some trees down um, I love this. This is my Olight so you can see this light does nothing for you. This map light <laughs> is, you know, essentially worthless. Right. So this O light's super nice. It clips on and off. Um, I'm a big fan of O lights, if you can't tell. That's sweet. Love it. Up here, I also have uh, just a multi tool, and then I've used a, kind of a axe mount to mount up my wireless remote for my winch. I wanted it to be in a place that I knew I wouldn't lose it, and that it would be there out of hands grab if anything needed to happen yeah um besides that i have a ram mount holding my extremely old generation <laughs> ipad it nice. does the trick and you know it works yeah, yeah, yeah. and i can i have gaia gaia i don't know what you want to call it um and I have the premium subscription and it's amazing. Yeah. I mean, you can pull up anything you need and it's right there. And it's the way to go. It's a 64 gig. So I can download the maps onto it and it has the um, all important GPS. So you can obviously track yeah. yourself, which you have to find older iPads. That's what you have to get if you're looking for one. Mm -hmm. um, besides that, it is pretty, it's stock in here. I mean, yeah, it looks great, man. It's in great shape. It's held up really well. I mean, it's a 2003. It's 17 years old. Mm -hmm. You can see the original owner wore a lot of lotion. <laughs> so the, st the steering wheel is shot and this armrest is shot. But besides that, uh, let's see. I have this. This is my, my makeshift hat holder that just does the trick <laughs> right there. Love it. Um, and then off oh, here. So this is a crank position sensor which mine is slowly going out so you so you're, must... you're, it's on deck i'm ready to do it whenever <laughs> it needs to happen <laughs> that's funny oh let's see i think that's yeah. in the back you can see i have the dog yep the rack the dog rack i guess you could call it that just to keep her from getting back there and then again just this is really nice waterproof thing that keeps her back there and lets her not scratch up everything sweet Oh, man, I love it. I love it so much. It, it's a fun vehicle. You have to know how to work on them, but if you know how to work on them, they return the treat to you. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Fine. Cool, man. Well, anything else? No, nah, not really. Let's. I guess we could open up the hood and check out the engine. Yeah. Let's 
So like I said, it's got an aluminum block V8 from the 60s from mm -hmm. a Buick motor, essentially. If you could feel the heat coming off this thing right now, <laughs> it is pretty hot. you would understand. Uh, but yeah, I, I try to keep it clean. If I go through mud, which I don't like to do, I will come in here and I'll clean it immediately just because you want to be able to see coolant leaks. You want to be able to see oil leaks. Mm -hmm. um, underneath here, everything is pretty much factory, except I replaced my cooling line T bleeding hose here yeah. with an aluminum aftermarket one. But honestly, that's that's the Sweet. engine. She's... They're fun. It sounds really good. That's oh yeah, you have a uh, straight pipe. It, it is straight piped, pretty much. Sounds no cats. Sounds glorious. I'm ready to see this thing like on the trail, do some stuff. But yeah, it looks looks so good. More than capable. And Absolutely. I think what I like most about your build specifically is your DIY mindset and how you've bought everything like super discounted. You're reusing stuff, you know. Yeah, if like, I can repurpose it and use it for something else, it's awesome. Yeah. Something I did not mention that I think I should. Yeah. This is a full traction control vehicle with a center locking diff. Mm -hmm. So it does not have a rear locker. It does not have a front locker. It relies solely on traction control and a central locking diff on the transfer case and it is extremely capable people underestimate these a ton and they don't give them enough credit but this was one of the first traction control systems and it's i think one of the better ones that's been out there you know comparatively in this year obviously a new defender is going to have better new traction control yeah well yeah sure awesome well thanks peyton i appreciate it man absolutely thanks for watching guys all right guys well that's gonna do it for this episode um i really hope you enjoyed this new kind of walk around thing i'm doing the one take walk around uh if you're interested at all um in maybe doing a video you know with me on my channel of your rig uh reach out to me on my instagram and uh or my email um, either one's fine uh and we'll you know try to get one of these um for your rig so just really want to get more unique vehicles on the channel. Um, I know we started with the TJ, now we're at, at a uh, Tacoma. You know, we're showing a Land Rover, so I think it'd be sick to get all kinds of overland builds on this channel. So, yeah, appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.